Yo, what is up, America? It's Keith the Trucker. You guys, I got a couple, and I say a couple because it's kind of a couple. I'll explain when we get into it, but I got a free MLB pick for you guys today. Uh, I have not given one out on YouTube since the last time I gave you guys that dabble one, which I believe went two of three, so we definitely lost. So that's 15 out of the last 21, uh, I believe. And then I gave out another one today that lost in via the chat. We're going to count that one. So it's 15 out of the last 22 uh, that have hit. So do me a favor. If you're new here, first of all, welcome. Second of all, hit that sub button because we are inching closer to college football and NFL season. And you guys are not going to want to forget my channel. I promise you. You're going to be, you're going to be looking for me when, um, you know, we hit the first couple of big weeks and we have a huge, you know, 30, 40 unit weekend. Um, it's, it's just a matter of time, but let's get into a couple things. Um, definitely smash sub and hit the like if you want to, I'd also like to hear from you guys, drop a comment, tell me a player prop you guys like, um, turn the brightness up just a little bit. Uh, let me find my glasses over here. Okay. So if you're not on my free pick WAP plan yet, you should definitely go sign up. It's very quick. Um, and it's at WAP.com slash SBAA. It's absolutely free to sign up, guys. I'm also doing a promo on the MLB right here. So you can see the price is $50 per month, $15 a week. Um, I am giving you guys right now, there is a link in the description, uh, the rest of the season for the price of a month. So it's about seven and a half eight weeks something like that so you're basically getting buy one get one free pretty good deal now guys uh no one on youtube is giving you guys free plays like i am that i've seen that's hitting 15 out of 21 yeah sure we've been hot <coughs> maybe there's some luck involved um you know like we've gone through stretches here where i give you guys the free play and it doesn't hit and then we're hitting all the vip so i understand that but I'm also about as transparent as it gets. I tell you guys when I win and I tell you guys when I lose. So from the last, like almost last week of June, all throughout July, I literally had, and you guys saw a lot of it. I put it up on the screen. We had big winnings, big plays that were cashing like every other day, 50 for 500, uh, 100 for a thousand. So long story short, the almost the last week, I'd say like four days and then like till the end of July, I had my best non-football month ever. I made just a hair under $6,000. That's pretty damn good for uh, the off season, really, because football is the real money maker, guys. And um, so far in August, I've given uh, about, I'd say, I'd have to really run the numbers, but I'd say probably in the neighborhood of uh, eight, about 800 of that back. So it's been a little rough this month, but I've shown you guys the losers and once again, it's like this, but all the plays that we're losing, we're getting two out of three and we were just like one hit short. Like yesterday, my VIPs had just three guys to get a hit. Two of them pushed the guy that Xavier Edwards for the, the Marlins. He literally has had like a hit in 22 out of like 26 games. He's had two hits in like 14 of those 26 games. We just needed one to get our money back. I mean, and he had a great matchup against the lefties, batting like 433. Sometimes sports betting just doesn't make any sense, but I'm telling you, and my VIPs are smart enough to know this, okay? If you're looking at the props on the screen and you're seeing two out of three in like every fucking slip, but there's always a loser in one, that's, you're hitting about 66% of your props, maybe even 70% when you add up some of the other plays. It's only a matter of time, like it happened tonight, that it balances out. And we hit a nut, we hit one of these like two days ago too. And these really help, guys. These are six X plays. So when I put fifty dollars down, I could lose five plays if one hits out of six, we draw even. It's that simple. So every time I hit a second one, it's it's three hundred dollars in profit. It's you know, it's pretty simple. And we, we probably should have hit, you know, I think there was probably literally like between better and just missing by one on some caches and dabble the last like week. So this, this month, essentially, um, I, I, I really feel like we should have hit it, 
guaranteed at least one dabble just off the math. It just, it was an unlucky streak, but we're going to snap out of it and we're going to get back on track here with the free picks too. We're going to make it 16 of 23. Is that what I said? It's a 15 of 22 of the last 22, which is still a great rate. Um, but yeah, so Schwarber made me a little nervous, but he got it done. Bryce Harper is clearly out of his slump. He had a great game. Um, yeah, so that was a nice six X hit tonight, guys. We also, uh, shout out to my buddy, Eric. Uh, I did put this as an official play to my VIPs. Uh, this is not my screenshot. I put 25 bucks on it, but I am in Arizona right now. Um, got here a little bit ago and I can't, uh, set, or I can't even look at the app, right? I can't even open this. So it kind of sucks. Uh, but anyways, it should pay, you know, whatever, 25, put 2.25, like 62, whatever that is, I think. So that's more profits. Shout out, Eric. Good job. Um, these two voided, which kind of sucked. It capped our upside, but we're never going to complain about profiting. Um, I gave this out to the VIPs today. This was frustrating because when, when there was a few strike, uh, there was a one more strikeout line. And then there was like two Olympic NBA lines, which, you know, good luck guessing that shit, guys. But I'm literally talking the hottest pitcher in baseball his last three starts. His strikeout numbers have been off the charts, and he gets the lowly Marlins today. And he pitches five innings, gives up like three runs. First time he's given up, like, I think uh, that was more runs than he's given up in his last four starts combined against the Marlins. Granted, they are playing a little better. Edwards is the real deal. That's their new little uh, Luis Areas. But anyway, like to have him pitch a hundred pitches and not be able to strike out six Marlins on a discount, his line was set at 7.5. That's frustrating, especially when I pick the other guy right. We can't even hit the discount play. It was a $10 max bet, so they limit you to 10 bucks. So it only, you know, it was, it's still $20 of profit though. And you know, that goes a long way. Sometimes I have to remember that, you know, a lot of people that follow me, are betting five or ten dollars a play that this is significant then you know if you're betting that on every play like i get it to me it's like yeah you know like i just kind of like okay well we lost the discount play but you know it's just frustrating guys to to have the discount is the when the discounts miss and that's been happening a fucking lot lately these apps it's almost like they know they're giving like 50 50 ones and they know that like everyone's gonna be on it anyways and then they just take everyone's money when it fucking fails. It's like price picks tacos. It's sleepers discounts have been shit lately. Anyway, um, this was another play. It was a half unit play. Um, ended up losing. I felt pretty good about Judge against Tyler Anderson today. And it was the Angels who just absolutely rocked uh, Stroman. Man, that guy's just not very good. I do like uh, Radon today uh, pitching against... Uh, I forget who it was, but I like his under earned runs. I'll tell you why too. I almost consider doing that on the free play with another pitcher, but uh, they're, they're supposed to be rain in that game. And so you guys have seen already like recently where if you have a rain delay. Sometimes like the guy might pitch three, four innings and then he just never comes back. If it's like an hour and a half delay, you know, the starter never comes back in. So I like it for that reason too. Plus I like the matchup. So what we're going to do today <coughs> is we're going to take Bobby freaking baseball. This guy's on an unbelievable heater. He did let us down like three times last week. He, you know, he was a base short. He was a hit run RBI short. But when you just go pull up his box score on sleeper, I uh, did not take a photo of it. It's just insane. It's like just numbers after numbers after numbers. He's get he gets uh, McCallus tomorrow. He's playing at Kauffman Stadium. He plays so much better there. I did consider taking his base prop. But he has funky games sometimes where he'll have two walks and then Vinny Pasquantino knocks him in and he scores a run. So he'll go like, you know, one for three with a, a single. So you miss the bases prop there. And then he has two walks and his single drove in a run and he got a run off the RBI. So fantasy score or this one, I usually like with Bobby Witt. Excuse me. Because he does steal bases too. Um, sleeper offers fantasy score now chalkboard still does not which is a little surprising to me and then so what i did today and this was my original play here and i originally had it for 50 and then i changed my mind like two minutes in and i canceled it 
And the reason why is because kowser has been really hot. Gunner's actually kind of in a little bit of a three game slump here. He hasn't had a hit in a couple games. But they both get um, Lytell tomorrow. Okay, they're at Tampa Bay. It is a pitcher friendly kind of ballpark. Um, I do like their new uh, pitcher pitching against his old team too, Effin. Uh, I like a couple props from him. I almost considered giving you guys that. I was going to give you a, even a third bonus play, even though this is technically kind of almost one play. I, it is two half unit plays. But uh, for some reason, DraftKings did not have that game up yet. I was going to do a little same game parlay. But anyway, um, Gunner's 5 for 10 lifetime against Lytell. So I think this could be a slump buster here. You know, uh, we only need two of these. And. He's been batting third or fourth. Kowser's been uh, bouncing between like sixth and first, depending on the matchup. I think tomorrow, uh, you know, I like the fact that they're both on the road, should have a potential to get a fifth extra bat. So all I did was instead of just going all in on this play, I really like Wit. But I didn't know which Oriole I liked, really liked more. So I said, let's just split it up. So we're going to take Wit and Gunner, uh, 2.5 and 1.5 hits, runs, RBIs at a half a unit. For 3x and then we're going to do the same thing this one pays a little more even even though kowser has been the hotter player for the orioles so i like the pitching matchup uh again uh, opposition on for both these guys mccallis and Lytell. so those are the free plays today's guys um let's get back on track and you know if we hit one let's pull those back up if they should um yeah so they're about 3.28 and it really it's just gonna the key's gonna be bobby witt if he hits i feel like one of these two should hit so even if we just hit one out of two, we're looking at 75 bucks back here, a little over, probably like oh, 82 here, yeah. So that would, you know, one of two, uh, that'd be 50 in, we'd still profit at least 25 bucks as long as Bobby Witt hits. Hopefully, just hopefully, um, these will you kind of correlate even though they're in separate plays and we'll just hit both and we'll have a nice day, guys. All right, that's all I got for you. Keep the truckers out. Get ready for football season, guys. Make sure you hit the sub button and lock those plays in if you're not on chalkboard yet sign up with code spaa and you're going to get a month free of my nfl vip got a couple of you sign up lately i do appreciate it um and then if you do sign up just drop a comment on youtube or just send me a dm with your transaction log on instagram or you can email me both of those are in the description um, also i have a ufc discount i already made a video about that so if you're interested in um, joining us in the ufc chat for the single event it's ufc 95 vegas uh there's going to be a link in the description of this video too it's going to be half off i'm going to give it to you guys for 50 percent originally i thought it was going to be kind of lighter but then i kind of went i kind of went a little crazy today so we'll see uh hopefully we can definitely make a profit the one i'm really excited about is 305 which is coming up so um, hopefully we can uh, you know hit a few plays and build some bankroll uh, to go into 305 and that's the one I really want to kind of get down on so 50% uh, off the UFC card for UFC Vegas 95 it's on Saturday guys that's day after well this is for Friday so it'll be tomorrow's video by the time you see this so yeah peace out guys and uh, good luck on all your bets tomorrow